everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing an aliexpress haul i have a runny eye like a runny eye i can't diagnose it any more than that a runny eye and it's doing my head in but for the purposes of this video i'm going to just woman up and get over it also those of you who have extremely observant eyes and i know that that is many of you will notice i am wearing something today that I didn't think I would ever be able to wear. Do you remember in my last AliExpress haul, I bought this kind of earpiece, I'd say, and I was very sad and very disappointed because I didn't think I would ever get to wear it because I've got my industrial piercing that goes kind of horizontally through the top of my ear. I just didn't think I'd be able to get this top bit kind of hooked onto my ear. But... I gave it a go and lo and behold, it worked. I just think that I gave up far too easily in the whole video. I didn't really even attempt it. That sums me up sometimes. If only I would try and attempt things sometimes, I'd probably find that I could do them, but I still can't do eyeliner. Also as well, there is a reason why I'm kind of sat quite far back today and it is because um you may notice like i've got this kind of blue wing today from a distance that looks good i think it's kind of passable however up close it's not quite working out for me today because i went in with the urban decay primer potion which guys i promise we are actually going to get into the haul at some point today but i used the urban decay eye primer potion and i don't know i've not used it in ages it must have gone off or something and it literally has made my eyes so sticky it's made my eyelids look like i'm about 50 years older than i am so i've got a lot of like i don't know it's just, it's just kind of made my lid stick to other parts of my lid and then it's just become a sticky mess and that was like really affecting how this blue wing was looking so i thought there's only one thing for this just sit miles away from the camera so no one will notice because you know what i'm not the kind of perfectionist who's going to try and do it again no that's just not me guys i just look for other mitigating ways i can try and stop anyone else from realizing my mistake so anyway guys three minutes in we're going to dive into this aliexpress haul did i even say this was an aliexpress haul it was so long ago since i started this video i've lost all memory of it so anyway guys i've got my little box here as you can see just displayed there on the side for those of you who watch my video reviewing the pastels palette you will be extremely relieved to know i now have a new ring light so we're not going to have any outbursts today or any threats to throw my ring light out of the window please don't be scared ring light i would never actually do that your predecessor was shit okay so today we're going to start off with the biggest item in my little box and this is a, a little mirror a five inch mirror to be exact i am not the kind of channel that oh wait did i just refer to myself as a channel what like i'm not the kind of human being who knows about measurements and tells you things in measurements a lot of the time like at work people will expect me to know measurements like i don't know what a meter is a foot no idea like no idea people will, will say oh could you just let me know like about a rough estimate of like how many meters away is the bin shed and i'll just be like so then i'll just say a five and then i just leave the, it with them and hope that they never question me ever again anyway guys so this is a five inch mirror which i'm very pleased to be able to tell you that so, oh okay i really really hope that this mirror comes in two parts or if it doesn't she's definitely broken which is going to be very disappointing so we've got the top bit oh she actually comes in three parts so okay so we have the little stand hey shall we concoct her together concoct what I don't know we'll, we'll put her together so we've got this bit which kind of looks like some kind of you know futuristic headband which i like like if this doesn't actually turn out to be a good mirror i've you know earned myself a headband today and also the oh my god oh, that looks so cool oh my gosh 
I'm loving this. Partly hoping that this actually turns out to be shit mirror because I'm really, really excited about the idea of having these as my new pair of driving glasses. You know what I mean? I think all the other road users are just going to be so excited when they see me coming wearing these. They're just going to be blown away. They're going to be entranced. They're going to be jealous quite frankly that they don't have them too okay so guys i do need to concoct my mirror so okay so this goes in there do you know what i felt so proud of myself last night when i managed to put together my ring light all by myself like i was so proud I, i'm not being like unfeminist or anything but usually i will get honeys to help me with things you know when it comes like fixing things and putting things together but that's not because I doubt my abilities that's simply because I'm lazy and I would just rather honeys do it honestly you know what I mean if I could get him to do my makeup for me I probably would but he can't do that as we all witnessed recently but I don't want to be shady against honeys because you know I love my honeys but um yeah let's just say yeah that was just a yeah yeah okay so guys this is the beautiful mirror she's kind of like this uh, transparent neon pink i really really like her she definitely looks like so cheap like i think i paid about five pounds for her and i would definitely say i've been overcharged by about four pounds but she does look pretty we cannot deny that and what i really really wanted was a mirror to kind of go on my makeup table kind of like there but i'm now realizing like and only now realizing that i have a mirror here so why do i now, now need a mirror here and i've got a big mirror there i've got multiple handheld mirrors in my compacts that are in in my drawer why 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 did i need this i've got a mirror there too i'm sure that there was something specific in mind that i was going to use her for when i bought her but I don't, I can't remember what that was. So anyway, here she is, guys. She's my new mirror, but possibly like my new driving sunglasses. Oh, by the way, guys, I feel like I must address the elephant in the room, which is my hair. I know it looks terrible. This is literally the hairstyle, if that's not an insult to hairstyles. I've literally had my hair like this for the past five days. And I think nothing quite says we're in lockdown like my hair is saying right now this hair is definitely stating i work from home i don't see anyone other than honeys and my kids these days i always wear a hat when i leave the house we're in lockdown okay so guys next we have a beauty sponge and i wasn't actually gonna include this in the haul because she only turned up yesterday but i thought i better because she literally burst right out of her packaging like I, I did not open anything she opened herself she just came she was like that i thought oh wow okay is this like a jurassic park moment is a little dinosaur claw going to start popping out from this because you know what she broke herself free she was desperate to get out she knew where she was coming and she said no that girl, she never washes her sponges. They're stainy and manky and gnarly and I don't want to be a part of it. I'm going to break free and I'm not going to her house. She's also got about a million mirrors and her hair is permanently in lockdown. So this sponge is by Pink Flash and it just says the secret of perfect base makeup. We're not actually going to know the extent of her greatness until we have soaked her, squeezed her until she's got really big and juicy and then pounded her all over my face. And I don't know what else to say about that. So, yay! -yo! You know what? I'm dealing with an insecurity issue today that I don't normally deal with when I'm filming but you know when I'm very close to the camera like you can only see like this much of me like above my cleavage but now because you're further away I keep worrying that you're gonna be able to see like my mummy tum the mummy tum and I know like if I ever complain about having a mummy I don't want to say mummy tum actually that's an awful awful 
derogatory way to describe it. I'm really sorry, guys. I take that back. I am actually offended at my own use of term. But I've got like a, you know, like wrinkly like skin on my tummy and I'm, I don't, it doesn't bother me normally, I don't really give a shit, but I just keep getting worried because I keep thinking, oh no, it's my mummy tum, oh, get there, I go again saying mummy tum, that's so terrible of me. If I could literally bend over and, do you know what, I'm not going to finish what I was about to say because that actually sounds like a fun time. If you see me like, you know, shifting about, going like this a lot, I'm not trying to finger myself on camera subtly, no. I'm just trying to like cover up, make sure everything's covered. I kind of hate myself for saying that because I shouldn't be ashamed, like no one should be ashamed. And I've just, I'm dealing with this insecurity that I've not really dealt with before. But anyway, this is probably a conversation for my therapist. If I had a therapist, I would love a therapist, but they're so expensive, oh my gosh. Like I really at one point was, was wanting a therapist because I wanted to be able to say, okay, so my therapist said, but they cost like 50 pounds an hour. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, why did I not train to be a therapist? And I could have been bringing in the big bucks. Like literally, I bet those therapists are all using like Pat McGrath. I bet they probably bathe in Pat McGrath because they're earning so much. Wow, wow. Anyway, guys, so next. Okay, so guys, do you remember when I tried out the You Can Be Pro Matte Foundation and I actually thought it looked super stunning on camera. It was like so flattering and beautiful, also in photos as well. But then when I ventured outside, all of a sudden I realised it actually looked like shit. So in that video, I did say that I would be keen to try out a lighter shade because although I thought the foundation looked really, really awful in natural light, I actually thought it was the best looking foundation I've ever used in um, studio lights. Well, not like I feel like I write tits describing my one lone ring light as a studio light because it's not. It's just one lone cheap ring light mounted on my desk so uh, yeah anyway do you know what? i feel like i've just insulted my ring light now i'm so sorry ring light please don't start flashing and just going wild like your predecessor did i wasn't aiming that at you i was but anyway i kind of forgot what i was even saying about the foundation now because my ring light distracted me thank you ring light you're meant to be there to just light me up but anyway guys so i was very very keen to get a lighter shade of the foundation because honestly even though it looks shit in natural light i really wanted to have one in my own shade to be able to wear for when i was filming or doing a photo shoot or something and i know you're sat there thinking i'm doing a photo shoot what the feck yeah it's one of my favourite things to do and I'm not ashamed. So I really wanted to get this foundation in a shade that would match me more so that I could use it when I was filming because it looked that good on camera. Will I ever wear this out of the house? No, never. But I'm definitely going to be wearing her for filming. So I picked this up in the shade light. I believe the other shade was, I think it was beige. Just, it was way too, not even dark, it was just orange, very orange. Whereas I'm hoping that this one's going to be a better shade match. So I will be trying this out soon and I'll I'll show you. We can see what it looks like. Oh, do you know what? I might put my little mirror there, you know, in front of my cacti so that the cacti can kind of admire its beautiful self. But also, if I tilt my mirror like that, does it look like I have two cacti? Or would that be cactuses? I have two. Anyway, terrible idea. I'm not doing that. Okay, go back there. Just sit in front of the mirror that's already there. The, yeah. Okay, anyway. Oh, shit! Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I just dropped you on the floor. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, so next we got a BB cream, and this is by the O2O brand. It's called the Lasting Performance Instant Oil Absorbing Coverage Cream. I really like the O2O brand. The majority of the products that I've tried from them have been really good quality. I definitely get the feeling that if you were to line up all of the AliExpress makeup brands, O2O would definitely be up, you know, at the top, along with probably You Can Be, Fuckle Your, I was going to say Beauty Glaze, but I'm still, I've 
I've still not forgiven them, honestly. Okay, so on the back, it just says a new lightweight BB liquid foundation. Okay, so now they're saying it's foundation. See, this is confusing because you describe yourself as a BB cream in one sentence and in the very next sentence, all of a sudden, you're a foundation. Okay, a bit confusing, but let's face it, this is probably going to have zero coverage anyway, so it makes no difference. It provides instant coverage and it brightens up skin complexion. The excellent coverage and lasting properties, it give you a... Have you got better places to be? Do you know what? I kind of lost the butterfly bit, you know, the bit that you kind of use to stick, stick it on. I lost it. So actually, it kind of... It, my fault it's hanging on for dear life really this it's one bejeweled body jewelry piece versus gravity and uh, gravity one okay right she's back okay we're fine i'm just not gonna make any sudden movements so this just says blah 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 perfectly fit to the skin leaving you flawless beautiful and invisible makeup so i definitely like the sound of all of that so we will be giving this one a go soon i'm very very interested to try her um to see what she's like should we open her up and actually see also why is one of my eyelashes like you know, doing the most over here. And the other one's just like, you know, laid back. I think it's just like at brunch with friends, just like, oh yeah, we don't have to do much today. We're just having a croissant, some freshly squeezed orange juice. Oh my gosh, anyway, I think we all know which eyelash will be my favorite from, from now on. Anyway, right, I can't open this, guys. I've been sat here trying for so long. It probably about, 10 seconds but I don't have much patience for plasticky things and I cannot open this fecker. Do you know what there is no annoyance quite like the annoyance of when you've taken the time and effort to do your nails nicely you've painted them you've waited the excessively long time for them to dry and then you're just trying to open something that's coated in plastic wrapping and it just literally fecks up all of your hard work there's just there's no anger like it can you tell i don't get angry very often like i just i don't get angry i'm the kind of wife who shouts at honeys when he starts getting angry at other road users i'm like honeys calm down honeys is it a big deal honeys is it they could be a learned driver honeys they're probably just a little bit unsure on the road just calm down honeys okay we've done it great okay so this is what she looks like she's in a squeezy tube she kind of reminds me of you know the charlotte tilbury uh, brush your life savings away and buy all, my, all of my products she, she kind of reminds me of that she looks really really sleek and just like you know clean and fresh so yeah i'm looking forward to trying her soon also if this is actually like see-through so it's giving us an actual indication of the shade i think that this is actually going to be quite successful for me so that's the first and i'm happy about it oh my gosh guys so before i show you the next product i just have to tell you about my embarrassing moment of the week because i had to go to one of our building it's like it's a new development that we're building and it's a building site basically so when we go we have to wear like full ppe and i couldn't find my hard hat or my high vis vest anywhere i probably just like i don't know what i did but let's face it it's not really the most flattering of that you know outfits so i probably just threw it away without even realizing so anyway I had to buy myself a new hard hat and a new high vis vest. I had this like really, really bright, fun, cool, quirky idea. I thought, do you know what? I'm not going to get a standard white hard hat. No, I'm going to get a pink one. And I'm not going to get a standard neon yellow high vis vest. No, I'm going to go neon pink because why not at the time this honestly just seemed like the best idea and i was living my very best life until the moment where i was outside the building site and i was just about to actually put on my 
hot pink high vis vest and my baby pink safety hat. And then I looked over to my right, I could see all of the builders, and there were many of them, all in their standard neon yellow high vis vests and their white safety helmets. And I'm looking at them all, and then I'm looking back at my passenger seat where all I can see is baby pink and hot pink, and I'm looking at that, and I'm looking back again at the building site, and I'm just thinking to myself, shit, that seemed like such a good idea at the time. And now I I have to go onto that building site full of builders in my pink. And I know you might be thinking, well, I'm an eater. Why is that such a big deal? But for me, I always feel like so nervous when I go to building sites because I always feel like, you know, being a, a lady, you stand out a million miles because there's no ladies on the building site. So whenever you go on a building site, it's like, oh, ladies on the building site. And the builders are great, very respectful. I really, really like them. They're friendly as hell. Some of the friendliest people I've met. But it's awkward. It's an awkward experience. It shouldn't be, but it definitely is one of life's awkward experiences if you're a lady. So yeah, this is me guys. I mean, I can't say I don't love it. I love, love, love this, everything about this. But when you realise that you're just about to walk onto a building site full of guys and this is you. Also, I had my hair obviously in these pigtails because it's locked down still, so the pigtails are there. I I made an effort with my makeup. I had actually matched my eyeshadow to the helmet, so it's pink, uh, and I had a load of heavy pink blush on. And I don't know. I felt nervous, and all of a sudden, I thought this this definitely was not a great idea. But now I'm just living my best life. It just shows you that sometimes in practice those ideas that you just thought were a really great idea like a lot of makeup that I've actually bought in my time and also like this mirror right here is an example that you know things purchases are not always great no not always even when they're pink okay so guys I'm really really sorry I digressed a lot there but next we have some beautiful pastel clips so I believe that these are called duck bill clips and I believe that they're called duck bill clips because like they look like a duck's bill I, that was something I actually learned from Brad Mondo and you know what I'm going to stop talking while I open because there's nothing more annoying than this and then trying to hear me talk over that and also I had a very awkward moment this morning with a, a deaf gentleman in the pharmacy do you know what I'm starting to feel like this video is actually a let's just chat about all of Anwin's recent embarrassing escapades kind of video with a little bit of AliExpress haul peppered in, you know, in between the chat. I'm so sorry guys, I'm in a very chatty mood today. I've been drinking this new tea that I got from Amazon. It's called, it's called like Nutri Tea or something. It's meant to aid digestion, but I find that it just gives me so much energy and it doesn't even claim to give you energy, but it gives me so much energy. And even coffee doesn't give me energy. Was that the door? Let me just check. I don't think that was the door, but there's a big delivery truck outside. And I was thinking, oh, yes. Delivery! Then I, it's not a delivery. Anyway, guys, so are these not just so cute? I actually did need clips. Like, generally, I don't need clips. I generally don't need any anything I buy from AliExpress. You could guarantee I've probably got 10 of them at least already. But clips is something that I definitely did require so i'm really pleased i've got these ones they're just so adorable so yeah i mean cute okay so next i got a eyeliner and this is by the novo brand she is just called the color eyeliner express she comes in this really beautiful packaging uh, similar to 020 i get the feeling that novo really do care about the look of their products and the kind of feel of their products there are certainly a lot of uh, makeup brands that sell products cheaply on AliExpress and they don't really give too much of a shit about 
how they present their products um, whereas Novo are definitely one of those brands that do seem to have you know their own kind of unique style and I really really do appreciate it because you know their products are just as cheap as most of the products on AliExpress but they just put in that little bit more effort which make, makes me feel like they care and, and I like that <gasps> Oh my gosh, so guys, this looks so cute. So, I mean, I still have no idea, like, what colour this is or anything. Like, I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a coloured eyeliner, but it's so cute, guys. Look. So, this is really, really adorable because it's got a little, like, princess crown, uh, a little, like, star, a shooting star. It's got a moon at the back. I really love those little kind of cute kind of artistic touches. So this is in the shade of Berry. As you can see, it's like a fine tip liner and it, I'll just do a little swatch there. Okay, so it's not Berry at all. It is, well, it's called Berry. So I was obviously expecting it to be like a rich kind of ready kind of purple look, but no, she is more of a kind of lavender and i really love that look also like you know when she first went on i'll show you again she looked like she was going to be a little bit sheer and a little bit kind of shiny however she seems to dry down at breakneck speed and she actually looks very opaque and matte when she dries so i really really like the look of that she looks so good i cannot wait to try her out soon okay so that brings us to the end of this video i really really hope that you enjoyed it and i do apologize for my chattiness i i'm just gonna blame the nutri tea for that because i definitely like have been very chatty and also I'm going to blame lockdown because I don't see that many people these days. So I really, really hope that you don't mind and I hope you enjoyed the video. All of the products that we looked at today, I will be trying out soon in up and coming videos. And I will also include all of the links to the products that I showed today in the description box downstairs too. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day, whatever it is you're doing. And I hope to see you next time for more chat chatting. Anyway, I hope to see you again soon.